Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the newest model, which let's flip it around and show you right here. This is by the company Synlogic. If you have not watched my other video, I reviewed their previous model, and this one is Wi-Fi. Not only can you see it on the display, you also can download the app and view it over your mobile phone if you're at work wanting to check in and see what the weather's like back home. I've really enjoyed my other one. It's actually hanging up right now, but I will be replacing it with this one and giving my older model to my parents. And if you are wondering, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it in this video, but definitely watch my last video. This thing held up great, I think in like 40, 45 mile an hour winds. I mean, it was, rain was pounding, and pouring, wind was howling, held up great, still is holding up great. So without further ado, let's get the newest model out. And while we're getting it out, just like all my unboxing and review videos in the description box right below the video, top link is gonna be this weather station where you guys can read more about it and pick one up yourself after the video is done. Okay, let's open it on up. You got your instruction manual. Now I'm gonna go over some key setup features in this, but definitely read this over. That's kind of your quick start guide. Here is your kind of your bigger guide and Wi-Fi setup, etc. Here is the app. Download that for iOS or Android. You got your mounting hardware right here. You got your bracket. So this is all very similar to the previous model as well. So it's gonna be easier to plug and play. Here we have our color LCD screen here, just some foam padding, protection padding. We got a warranty. Let's remove this. And of course, we'll be lighting this up and showing you all the features. So briefly, you got your controls on the side here. This does take three AAA batteries for backup power. I do not know if those batteries are included. We'll get to that in a second if they are. You got a stand for placing that on your countertop or wherever, or you can mount that to a wall with a couple screws Slip that on like a picture frame if you want a little bit more dialed in, etc. All right, here is our weather station right here. Pretty much identical to the previous predecessor. This one just has the extra Wi-Fi feature to it for mobile app viewing. You also have your stand and your power cord right here for your display as well. You can mount this in the vertical or horizontal position as in the brackets. I'll show you how mine is hooked up. The weather station does need three AA batteries as well. You just unscrew this little screw and put three AA batteries in here and three AAA batteries in the LCD display for backup power. You have a little solar panel on the back right here. Okay, so on top, you have your rain collector right here. Right here, you have your UV and light sensor right here. You have a level indicator for mounting to make sure that's level. You have your wind cups for wind speed right there. You have your wind vane right here for the direction of where the wind's coming from. And right here by my thumb, this is gonna be the thermo hydrometer and radiation shield right here. Okay, so I'm gonna hook all this up, download the app. Okay, I've inserted three AA batteries in the box here and it's very subtle, but the reset button right here will flash every 16 seconds or so. It'll just be a very subtle red light that pops up. I don't know if we're gonna be able to catch it on camera or not, but there you go, you just saw it right there. Okay, that means the batteries are working and we're looking really good. Definitely I would recommend using good batteries, not your 99 cent store batteries. All right folks, the station is fired up, ready to go and I wanna talk you through some major tips connecting the Wi-Fi that will save you. In my case, honestly, it probably took me over an hour and a half or so to finally figure it out. And so this video should help you. Okay, let's talk about that and then we'll talk about the other features. So here's the manual for the weather station. There's the quick start guide, but your internet guide is this small one right here. I downloaded the app for the Android. Of course, you can do the Apple Store as well. Now it's not as easy even if it goes completely smoothly or not, if you're not familiar with the process. So after you download the app, you're gonna get a section like this. You go add new device. If you're already familiar with a WU device list, then you're already familiar with this process. I was not, so I clicked on this. It's gonna look like this, just like this in the app though. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and register a WU, and they're gonna give you a station ID and a station key. So when you try to connect it to a network, Network, you're gonna get a screen that looks like this on the app. You can do this bottom one, but I didn't. It's an unsecured website, at least for me, so I didn't bother with this one here. But I did wunderground.com. I signed up for a free account, just email address, password. Go through the steps. Now the same logic brand is not 
not in the menu of W Underground when you try to choose the model number. So it doesn't matter what model number you choose, choose any model number. And I didn't use my precise address. I used one probably within a mile away from me or so. Just kind of a, you can do it manually or you can use a public park down the street. I just don't want the internet knowing exactly where I live. And then after that process is over, they're gonna give you a WU station ID and a WU station key. Then what you're gonna do is if you've already plugged in your device, you need to get the Wi-Fi signal beeping on you. So you come down here and you push the bottom button right here. You push that in, you hold that for three seconds, four seconds, it'll beep. And then the Wi-Fi symbol will start blinking on you. Then in your phone, go to the Wi-Fi settings, connect to the same logic. This number will probably be different, but it will same logic and it will be uh, no password required. Your phone will say, do you want to connect to it? Say yes. There will not be internet access, but what you're doing is you're connecting to a product via Wi-Fi. And this is all in the directions. It's just super easier when I'm telling you, especially I just literally went through this. So after you're connected, go ahead and click next. And then this page will come up right here. And then you go ahead and copy and paste after signing up for your WU. Enter your WU station ID, then enter your WU station key, and then go ahead and hit search type in the Wi-Fi network you want to connect to. Now this is where I had trouble and it will save you a lot of time. So I have a mesh system that actually has a smart assistant to the mesh system that runs off of 2.4 and five gigahertz. Well, my mesh system, I can actually hit smart assistant and it will only send off a 2.4 gigahertz connection for 30 minutes or so, so devices like this can connect to it. Well, guess what? It still didn't work with my mesh system system, even though I did have smart assistant. And my mesh system doesn't have any disabling of five gigahertz. If yours does, disable five gigahertz to be able to connect. So what I actually had to do, my folks are actually my neighbor and they have a 2.4 only gigahertz router. So I called up Pops, asked for the password and connected it to their router, which is a super bummer. I don't know why devices don't get more fancy and connect to both, but that was my big issue because even though it said connected on the app, displaying it via Wi-Fi, I'm gonna cover this up because it's the internet. Uh, instead of online, it would actually say offline and would never switch over. Trying to connect to my mesh system, even with Smart Connect Assistant. It wasn't until I connected to my parents' router, which is only 2.4, or if you have the option to disable 5 gigahertz then it immediately connected showed me my stats and so frustration solved so as you can see here in the app you can view this when you're on the go over your mobile network and so i've just clicked off of wi-fi now i'm on my mobile network and i'm able to see you. and when you know you are connected properly you're going to see the e symbol pop up that was not popping up for me when i would try to connect it to my mesh system but right after i connected to my folks's router that E symbol came up as it's supposed to. So the reason why the Wi-Fi connectivity is pretty cool is you can be on the go. I was actually just in Breckenridge, Colorado, doing some snowboarding, fat tire biking, and any time of the day I could log in and see exactly what my weather station is doing. It's a cool feature. I definitely will be using that more often. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the weather station a little bit better. What I like about this is this is a very large screen compared to its predecessor, the model I had right before. This one, you have your outdoor temperature displayed very largely here 20.2 yes it is very cold where I am and we have humidity at 61% I got the wind coming in from the southwest I got right now a gust of 5.8 miles an hour averaging 5.1 the pressure is right here your rain is right here that's actually not correct it'll recalibrate itself there hasn't been any rain so that should be all zeros you got your little picture right here indoor we're at 65 i'm actually very comfortable typically in the winter people jump it up to 72. we got dew point and inside humidity is 25 percent we have the date right here we have the time right here and again like i mentioned it's a larger screen than the predecessor and what i really like about these weather stations if you're on the fence about it especially where i am in colorado I definitely like to see this. When I was living in Southern California, it was either nice, pleasant, 
a little chilly, summertime hot, warm in the evening time. Didn't really care about all this. But now that I'm living out in Colorado, I really enjoy coming into the kitchen, grabbing a cup of coffee in the morning, looking at the temperature going, oh my goodness gracious, it's chilly as we just saw it click over. A little bit more of a gust right now at 6.7 and the uh, temperature fluctuated just a little bit there. We're going through a cold spell right now. It'll jump back up into the 50s next week, which I'm very, very happy about, especially being from California, Southern California. So I find myself looking at this and viewing it so much more. Now, if you are thinking about going from Florida to a cold state like Utah, Wyoming for a bigger house, just know, yes, you get a bigger house, more bang for your buck. Well, maybe going from California to Wyoming, Florida is still really good prices. Depends where you are. I'm an outdoors guy. I got projects to do, but I'm not going outside at 7.30 at night like I would in California working on my house, not in 20 degree weather. So what this does is I'm like, well... Last night I had my other weather station up, the Send Logic, the predecessor before this one, and it actually had outdoor temperature 0.5. That's almost zero, and I was like, eh, I got, I got no time for that. <laughs> Even my puppy Berea, she's like, I don't know if I want to go outside and go potty. Okay, so if you are wondering here, I'm going to turn off the light just so we can see the screen a little bit better. As we can see here, wind gust 7.4, wind gust 7.4, average six, average six, southwest wind direction. We're at southwest wind direction, 20.4, 61% humidity. All that is displayed on here is literally on your phone on the SendLogic app, which again is a really nice feature. Okay, so we just literally switched over about seven seconds ago and it hasn't updated on here for the wind speed average. Let's see how long that takes. Right now the average is 6.7 and it hasn't updated on the app quite yet. I'll keep you updated how quickly that updates. Alrighty, and it just updated right as I let you go there. So that was probably 25 to 30 seconds or so. So it's not completely live. It takes a little bit of time to catch up, but quick enough for me. Because this is a review video, I do want to capture this on film. I've been getting this quite a bit lately. Typically, it doesn't go for as long as see how it just clicked back over. I'm not exactly sure what that is. I think that's the only time it's done it today, yesterday, for some oddball reason. It did it quite a bit. I'm going to try it in a different location before I wrap this video up to make sure. Because the predecessor, I had no issues with that in the same location. And what that is, is that's just a timeout between the weather station and the unit. It shouldn't do it. I'm only about 50, 60 feet away. Nothing's changed in regards to the predecessor model. So I'll keep you updated about that. As we're talking about it, temperature 33, wind 4.5. Really nice glancing over, seeing that. 64.9 in the corner right here indoors. If we come over here to this one, this one's 67. It is a little bit higher up and there is a vent right behind the door over here in my laundry room. Forgive my beautiful colors and wallpaper. I'm in a full remodel. So that's why it's a little warmer. The vent blows hot air over here and it'd be just a few degrees cooler over here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting some big wind gusts here at 16.3 miles an hour, averaging 12.1. Again, the previous model, I had it all the way over 40 mile an hour winds. Snow rain has held up just beautifully. Obviously, this is a newer model. We haven't really had any rain. It does say rain right here. We're going to have maybe some snow flurries potentially tomorrow for our Thanksgiving, which is tomorrow. 26.5 degrees. A little chilly out there, that is for sure. Up there, 18.6 Gust right now. Also good news is after I showed you where it kind of paused out, I have not seen that all day today. And I forgot when that was. That might have been two days in a row now or maybe only one day. I'm not getting any pauses in the display. It's constantly displaying. And that might have been, don't quote me on this one, but I was having crazy internet issues. Might have been just some weird signals. Even my cell phone internet was having real big problems. So might have been some interference in the air. I'm not really sure what's going on, but it's not doing it anymore. So I like what I'm seeing. Back with you. We just hit a gust of 23.7. It's pretty windy outside. Yeah, it's definitely howling out there. And that's what is nice. Okay, that was a big gust. So it should register here in just a second here. I think that was, that sounded like more than 23. Yep, 
25 right there. So slight delay from when I heard the wind whip through, but not much. That was about 15 seconds, 20 seconds or so before it registered. 25.1 gust of wind. Again, the same logic can handle the elements, that's for sure. Alrighty, happy Thanksgiving to you and yours. Hitting gusts of 31.1, not the best for Thanksgiving, but letting you know that it can take a beating and keep on a trekking. Sorry, we're getting a little bit of uh, light feedback there. It is daytime now, so gusts of 31.1. And here out on the ranch, that is our weather station taking a nice little beating, and the camera's not even picking it up. So on camera, you know how sometimes that does that where it looks like it's like spinning? So on camera, it looks like it's just twirling around probably at like 10 miles an hour. Uh, no, that the camera is not being able to catch up. See that right there? That happens sometimes with car rims sometimes when you see rims on cars being filmed. Uh, it's spinning so fast that the camera can't pick it up. So anyway, I'm just letting you know about that. See my little uh, dry, my clothes hang dryer thing? That's blowing pretty good. This tree's blowing pretty good. We're getting some pretty good gusts. So it's holding its own. We're looking absolutely fantastic. So with the naked eye, I'm seeing that twirly thing just spinning crazy on top. So we're holding up, we're looking good, mounting. And as it says rainfall 4.11 inches, that actually isn't correct. It's because we had some snow flurries. It might have got in there and melted, but we definitely didn't get four inches of rain last night. So that might be a little inaccurate, especially during the snow time. Okay, folks, it is snowing currently, and the, and the weather station's handling it like a champ. Let's go ahead and look at the ground below. Not a crazy amount of snow, but that's still some pretty decent snow. And it is handling it like a champ. Now the wind is barely blowing, which makes it even nicer to look outside and see the snow you can see the you can see it twirling around very slowly there let's go look at the monitor and see what we got all righty currently 15.8 degrees it is a chilly one today but the weather's gonna fly back up here tomorrow which i'm looking forward to and because the wind is so calm at 3.8 miles per hour the snow is falling just beautifully and it's looking really absolutely fantastic overall i think the weather station has done an excellent job the only con of the weather station that i have is that again occasionally it'll time out just for a little bit not that often but just letting you know because it is a review video and once again in the description box right below the video top link will be this same weather station where you guys can read more about it pick one up yourself but just like all my videos please don't go into debt for anything that i do make a video about but if you do have the cash and it does intrigue you, go ahead and purchase on away. If you wouldn't mind hitting that thumbs up button on your way out, it helps the channel and the YouTube algorithm. Also subscribe if you like videos like this. Check out the channel, I got a lot more other genres of videos, DIY van builds, tech reviews, house projects, and more. Again, the top link will be your link for this weather station. We'll see you on the next video. Take care for now, bye-bye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.